Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Tabor's Fall Classic, presented by 105.5 WIGY. Here is what's in store for you at Tabor's. Hey there, everyone. Justin from Maine Mini Golf Tour, and we're here at Tabor's in Auburn to get you ready for the October 11th Fall Classic, presented by 105.5 WIGY, right here. Don't miss it. All right, we are on hole number one here at Tabor's in Auburn. A fairly straightforward hole. The ball moves a little bit from your right to left as you putt up the hill. Two is a good score. number two at Tabor's. It's a dog leg from right to left goes down the slope. What you want to do is two things. You can either baby it down the slope by taking it forward those logs over there or you can go hard off the back end and hope for the rebound shot off the break. and this one's really tricky. Everything from up here slopes from right to left, including the bounce off the bricks below. But be careful once you're below because then there are breaks from both sides that may or may not miss the hole. Two is a great score here. And here we are at number four at Tabor's. There are two options here. The first, you go through the bear's legs or just to the right of the bear's legs and into the water. That will bring you all the way down to the hole, but be careful. In tournament and league play, that's going to cost you a stroke penalty. The other way is to go down off of these rocks and bricks and get a carom out to the right and down to the hole. at hole number five at Tabor's. We're gonna jump the water and then hope for a really good bounce off of those bricks. And be careful not to go into the water and the rocks to the right. And after that ace on five, we're ready for number six. Three different ways you can go on this one. First, go as hard as you can off of that back brick hope for the rollback. Second is just a touch putt just down the slope and let it baby and trickle on down to the hole. Third, you can go around the rock to the left and hope for the double bank as it goes back to the hole. I would advise the first two, not necessarily the third. Yep. Number seven, also two ways you can go in this one first. Squeeze the ball between the rock and the brick very, very lightly. This is a very touchy putt. Or you can go off and around and hope for a good carom. We prefer the first option, even though it's a little tough. to number eight here at Tabor's Lakeside Stand in Auburn. This one looks pretty straightforward, but be careful. The carpet leans right to left. You have a couple of options to play the ball off of mounds and 
logs, or again, you can go off the back bricks. Two is a great story. And sometimes, you get cracked. Here at the ninth hole here at Tabers, the turn hole, the wishing well hole. This wishing well has been here for ages and ages. The course underwent a renovation six years ago. This is the sixth year with the current layout, but this wishing well was carried over. There's two ways you can go here. You can go through the wishing well, which is a direct line to the hole, but a blind line, or you can go just around and there's a slope just on the backside that'll kick you toward the hole. You pick at your own peril. And all right, so we just made the turn here at Tabers through nine holes. I had three threes and two ones for a 19 on the front nine. That's going to put you in a very good position no matter what kind of event you're playing here at Tabers. Let's go to the back nine. It starts out with a bang, a triple decker that drops all the way down to a hole in a big left dog leg. Two ways to play this. You can either go through the rock formation to the left of the second level. You can go straight over to where the eagle is on the back side. And a third way, there is a hole in the second level that'll shoot you down to the bottom level, but not necessarily into the hole. Many different ways to approach this one. simple, but there is no easy bounce and there is no straight shot at the hole if you're going to go straight for it. You can dribble your ball down the right hand side and hope you get a good bounce, but beware of those corners of the bricks. Or you can go straight over the mound in the middle and hope for a good carom at the bottom. Two is a good score. And 12 and 13. And we are at number 12 right now, which goes up and over the bridge and then crosses underneath the bridge. There's no real way to tactically get a hole in one here, but you can get lucky. And we've seen it in league play. Let's see what the bricks hold for me in this one. This is probably the toughest hole on this course for most people. There are two ways to go about this hole. First of all, see that narrow little streak right there between the rock and the brick? 
that's where you want to go to get a streak shot at the hole for a hole in one. And if you're very, very accurate, that's probably your best bet. Otherwise, you can go up and around that rock and it'll kick toward the hole off of a brick if you don't get cracked. Difficult in its simplicity, number 14 can cause people fits. The runway up to the hole is long, much longer than you would think, and you have to get just the right touch. Otherwise, on the back side of the hole, it's gonna run away from you, leaving you with a long two putt. Number 15, there are two ways to go again. First, you can go through the hazard, which is really just white carpet that's a little bit longer than the rest. You can go through that, that's a straight line at the hole, but speed is very, very touchy. Again, on the back side of this hole, the ball runs away. The other way is down to the center, and it will curve back to the right from the left. That's usually the way I go. You too. This hole number 16 goes straight at the hole, except that it doesn't. Everything breaks left, and everything behind the hole breaks backwards. But, you don't quite get it to the hole, it's gonna come right back down. This hole there are no less than three approaches you can take. The first, you can go nearly straight at it through the right edge of the white grass and it will bank to the right, left to right toward the hole. Or you can go up to the right side near the rock and it will come left uh, back to the left from the right to the hole. Or you can go hard off the back bricks and that will put it on a line closer to the hole. Again, hope speed is everything. classic finishing hole here. Ace is certainly doable on number 18 here at Beavers. It looks like a straight shot. It's got a couple of ridges to go over, both of which will kick the ball back to the right. So what you're trying to do is miss the hole just to the left, hit off of that cement barrier where the walkway is within the last foot to nine inches or so, and it'll come right back at the hole. That was your 18 holes here at Tabor's. Looking at the scores, we had two threes, excuse me, three threes, two ones on the front for a 19, and on the back, we had three threes and one one for a 20, for a total of 39 big putts. 
That may or may not be good enough to win the Fall Classic, but we'll give it a shot. Don't forget the Fall Classic here on October 11th, presented by 105.5 WIGY, right here at Tabor's Miniature Golf in Auburn, Maine. See you there.